Meghan Markle's story is one of preparation, one of intentional decisions, and one of remaining focused on what it is that you wish to accomplish, and at the end of the day, you will get the prize. You will recall the story of Esther in the Bible, how she prepared one full year to meet the king. That preparation, that level of intentional effort, won her his heart. She also won the crown and became queen, his queen, a queen that would eventually save her people. Meghan Markle, by all accounts, by all standards, certainly does not qualify for the, the role that she now is about to play, the role that she's playing. She's engaged to a prince in arguably the most powerful royal family in the world. How did that happen? By this young woman being very intentional. Even at times when she slipped and perhaps made a wrong decision, a wrong turn, she got back on track quickly and made very intentional decisions, efforts, refused to be deterred and stayed focused on her vision. If you followed her story at any point, you would hear the various highlights of the story, the various things that she did that were quite intentional. Not knowing she would meet a prince, but knowing that obviously there was something bigger for her to get involved with, something bigger for her to, to give herself to. The United Nations, speaking out on women's behalf, fighting for the causes and equality of women, fighting as a young girl against sexism when it came to a laundry dishwashing li liquid. Meghan Markle has been very intentional, extremely intentional. That intentionality got her introduced to the prince. And you know the end of the story. She won his heart. He was so impressed with her. She won his heart. And today, they're planning a wedding for May 2018. How can you be intentional? How can you begin to make very, very strategic, very focused minded, very intentional decisions that will get you where you want to be. Here are some, here are some wonderful, wonderful tips. Begin to live outside the scope of your current life, your current world, your current environment. How do you do that? Okay, perhaps you can't travel the world right now. But travel the world in your mind by instead of using YouTube to look at music videos, perhaps you should go and be inspired by what other people are doing, what's happening out there beyond you. Look at various news feeds, uh, uh, follow people who are doing something and speaking on stuff. Those very habits begin to birth passion. Passion births purpose and purpose leads you to your crown, whatever that is. Be inspired today. Be inspired by this very ordinary woman who came from extremely ordinary circumstances and beginnings compared to where she is now, who now is living her dream beyond her dream. You can do that as well. Make the first step today. Pick up a book, read it. Follow somebody who is doing incredible things. Look at their message, look at what they're saying and Find your purpose, find your passion. Be busy about preparing yourself for the next big thing.